What's up everyone? Here with a Super Heavy Samurai deck profile for you guys. So Super Heavy Samurai is a very unique deck. For the first being, um, you don't use any spiller traps. Yeah, there are no spiller traps in this deck. You can't really use spell and traps in this deck because a lot of their effects are based on you having no spell traps in your graveyard. So uh, that's the first thing. And second off is that they are based on summoning out your big uh, boss monsters and attacking and defense. So their attacks are really like low here, but they have high defense and they attack and defense, which is pretty cool. So we will get into it. So the first thing we do is we play two Plutus. Plutus is our protection for the deck. Um, he has an effect where you contribute him and then special summon a super heavy from your hand. And then while he's in the graveyard, if any of your super heavies get targeted, you can banish him from the grave and then negate and destroy that card. So he's your protection. So you typically want to normal him first and then bring out your second monster. And we play wagon three wagons uh, wagon is is really good because he searches out your he searches out your um your soul pieces and your souls are your equipped cards you use to equip to your uh super heavies so when you normal him he automatically goes in defense and then you can activate the effect to go from defense to attack and then you search for a soul card so a great card that we finally got from ocg after so many years and then we have our uh, our main deck, Big Boss Monster, um, we typically, this is a synchro based deck, and we typically want to go into our extra deck for our really big guys, but we do have a big beater in the main deck, and that is Big Benke. And Big Benke um, has the ability to attack and defense, and as you can see, he has 3,500 defense, which is huge. So, you know, he can attack over, you know, a lot of things. And we play two scales. Um, I don't like playing three. Um, he's good, and but I, I just don't. I think he's a little bricky at anything more than two. And what he does is that if your opponent controls two or more monsters, you get to special him from your hand, and then you get to bring a level four lower super heavy from your graveyard and special summon it. Typically, you want to go after your soul pieces um, or your or a tuner if you can. So that's what he's for. Then we have trumpeteer. I play three of these. This is uh, our tuner for the deck, and as long as you control no spell traps in the graveyard, you can special summon from him from hand, and then but you'll be locked into super heavies if you do that. But he's a quick little you know uh, free summon um, if you get him to your hand. So then we play two transporters. Transporter is just like Trumpeteer. He's a free summon from your hand. Uh, you can special summon him, and also he can unbreak your hand. So what you can do is you can tribute him. And then special summon super heavy cards from your hand to their field. And then you get to draw that amount of cards. So he's a good way to unbreak. And also if you want to put something like small. Maybe if you want to give him a trumpeteer in defense. Or an attack even. And then. No it has to be in defense. It has to be in defense. So if you give him a trumpeteer in defense. And then you can inflict piercers. Because we have a, um, cards that can attack um, and do piercing damage. Um, you can do some nasty nasty damage. Uh, we play three thieves, so one of the things you might be wondering is is how does this deck take care of back row and certain things? You know, when if you're not playing spell, playing spell or traps, well, this is one of the ways. And thief, what he does is he allows you to snatch up a back row. So just like uh, trumpeteer and transporter, you can special summon him from hand, and you'll be locked in super heavies, and then you can target and destroy. A, well, you tribute him first. You destroy a card in your opponent's spell and trap zone, uh, non targeting. And then you get to set it on your side of the field. So it's pretty cool. You get to snatch and steal um, a cards, um, whether it be set or it's uh, face up. And it's non targeting too. Now let's go over to our uh, equip cards. These are our soul cards. You'll see soul piercer, soul Peer peacemaker, soul horned. You know, Soul Buster Gauntlet. Those are all our our equip cards. So what Piercer does was is just like his name implies, he gets to do piercing damage if you equipped him um, from your hand to a super heavy um, samurai monster. And uh, really, but that's not mainly the reason why you use him. Uh, I wouldn't situational. You'll most use him for his second effect, which is when he gets sent from field to grave. 
he gets to you get to search any uh, super heavy cards from your hand. I mean, from your deck. So uh, typically, you want to. So let's just say a, a typical play. You know, you could. Let me see. Uh, where is he? Where is he? Here it is. So you want to you can normal activate tribute to bring out activate defense activate special attack bring to your hand so piercer equipped then you can uh, link off right um, he activates you get to surf or something and you just go from there and continue um, so let's continue. Next for our soul cards is Peacemaker. Peacemaker is another really, really, really good card. What it does is you equip them, of course, to a super heavy monster, and you get to you can tribute the monster he's equipped to and himself to special summon any super heavy card from your deck. So your target is typically going to be Battle Ball, which we'll get into later, or it can be Big Benke. You know your gigantic beater. You know so you contribute and then bam, you know get him into uh, that's, that's how you can get out Big Benke. So if you need something, some damage real quick, uh, that's how you do it. Is with uh, Soul, Soul Pierce Maker, um, Soul Peacemaker. And what else we have? Another one of our Soul cards is Soul Horns. Soul Horns allows you to equip the tool monster, of course, and then that monster can swing twice. Gauntlet, Gauntlet. Uh, you're gonna want to activate this during calculation. What it does is during calculation you can. Uh, double the defense of a super heavy. So, um, if you have Bing Bang K um, and you equip it with Soul Horns, so it can attack twice, and you use Gauntlet, Gauntlet will double his defense, meaning he can swing for 7k. And that's not for that battle, that is for the turn. So he can swing for 7k and swing for 7k again. And of course, if you have other things like uh, a Piercer. Uh, you can do piercing damage with that too. So, more resources you have in your hand, the better. But yeah, that's how Gauntlet works. Is you can double the defense. A great card, one of the best cards in the deck. And next we're going to go into what makes this deck pretty unique. And that is with Battle Ball. Battle Ball is a really cool card. Uh, one of the best cards in the deck. And what it, that, what it says is that as long as all the monsters you control are super heavies... You can target a monster that can your opponent controls with a level, not a rank, not a link, but a level, and you can synchro summon using him and your opponent's monster. And I'll show you how we actually want to get the levels that we want, and that is by playing five kaiju's. We play we main deck five kaiju's in this thing. Because Battle Ball allows us to Kaiju, right? And then we bring out Battle Ball. And then we will uh, use the Kaiju and Battle Ball to Synchro into one of our Synchros. So if you have stuff like Dragoon out there who can't be targeted. Because it does target. Battle Ball does target. Um, a Kaiju is not protection for targeting. Uh, while Dragoon does. So if you Kaiju him away... You can synchro summon into a 12 or a 10. Um, and then you can also play the other kaijus too and go into the other ones if you like. But I like to um, do the 8 and the 10 because the synchro monster are typically what I prefer to go into. Um, just to show you what our targets are for this, if we were to go into. If we were to go into. Star Destroyer, we'll go into our main big boss monster, and that is Steam Train. And if we use uh, Gamma Seal, we'll go into Setsunowo. And they're both boss mod, like, right, they're, they're good, they're good. And you can see by the defense, 3800 and 4800. Yeah, them boys big, that booty. And remember, that can be doubled. It can be doubled for the turn. So this can swing for 96. This can swing for 76, so it's it's banging. It's awesome, but we'll get into them later. But that's why we play five kaiju's for our main deck. Uh, is for that play. 
Remember, Battle Ball Searchable through the Monkey Arms, which is Soul Peacemaker, uh, Peacemaker. and then also you can get him out with uh, Soul Piercer too. Um, next, we play our Negate package. Is we play a Gamma package, of course. We can play Spell or Traps, but we can play Monsters no problem. So we will play a Gamma package because this is a going second deck. You're gonna want to go seven. You want to go second, and you're gonna want to OTK. And then we have Effect Veiler. I play one. Uh, I, could, I I should bump up to two. I should probably take some down, bump it to two. One is a weird number for Effect Veiler. I think it it could be used for uh, for um, a second one. But um, yeah. And let's go into the extra deck now. We finally got Scarecrow after so many years. Um, so many years we've been we've had the super heavy deck, and uh, OCG is not given TCG Scarecrow um, for the longest, man. You know, Scarecrow and Wagon. But we finally got Scarecrow. Well, Scarecrow, Scarecrow helps out the deck a lot. It's a monster reborn for the deck. So you just discard a monster, which all you play are monsters, and you get discarded, and then you get to special summon a super heavy to its lane pointer. And also, you can't take any damage regard with the, that effect with this um, uh, monster, any battle damage. And also, you, um, yeah, yeah, that's, that's it for that part. But he's a monster reborn. Then we play two. Uh, Steam Trains and Steam Train is such an amazing card. So it does two things. The first thing it does is you can discard up the two cards and pop two cards. So that's that's if you want to clear some more pieces, that's how you can uh, do it when he first comes out. And then you can banish all of his spell, your opponent's spell and traps from the grave, and burn for two hundred. You know, a lot of cards, a lot of decks out there like uh, Witchcrafters, they can are always recurring their their um, spells. From the grave and if you banish them all oh man they're screwed um so and he's at 4800 so uh he's good he's good yeah boy good all right so so no is also a really good card too so remember he's 3800 so he's big and then quick effect what he can do is you can target a spell or trap in your opponent's graveyard and then set it on our side of the field so um, when he first comes out, I can snatch a Spiller Trap from my opponent's grave. And on their turn, I can snatch another one. And I get to keep, and I can use them too, because remember, they're not going to go to my grave. They actually get banished when they leave the field. Um, so your opponent won't be getting that uh, resource back as well. So, car, you know, things like Sky Striker, you know, who always want to uh, get their cards, uh, their spells and traps from their, uh, well, their spells from the grave. Yeah, not today, boy, not today. Next, we play. Um, Gyuubi, uh, we play our Nine Tail Fox, and he's a level nine, Synchro Nine, and he, he's at twenty five hundred defense. So you might go, oh, that's not much, but his effect is that he gets nine hundred for every uh, special summon monster your opponent controls. So with just one, he's automatically at thirty four, just with one, you know, and then he gets only bigger from there. So I've, I've I played against a hero deck one time where. He was huge. Like, this guy was huge. And I was just able to annihilate and like run over like his monsters because of it. Because heroes, you know, uh, they definitely like to... <coughs> oh, man. I mean, a lot of monsters. So, level 8. And you bump up... <coughs> <coughs> oh, sorry, guys. My, my, my throat's getting dry. So, um, we play our level 8. is Ninja. And Ninja's all right, you know. What he says is he can target a spell trap on the field and destroy it, you know, and then burn for 500. So, you know, backward removal and uh, only one, but hey, you know, that's something. And we have Stealth Ninja. Stealth Ninja, what he does is you can cut his defense in half and he can attack directly. So it's not by much, you know, it's by 1400 um, if he does. But it's 28 if you use, if you use uh, Gauntlet. Or if you have soul horns, you can swing twice for you know 14, 14 at 28. So then we have ogre. Ogre is good. I love ogre. Ogre, what he does is he's a harpy feather duster for the deck. So upon his summon, not not every turn, but when he's summoned, you can destroy all your opponent's spells and traps, which is pretty good. Then um, the last card we get from OCG, and that's Swordmaster. Swordmaster, um, what he does is when he's special summoned, well, when he's when he's synchro summoned. You can target a machine in the grave and add it to your hand. 
um, if you are going to be synchroing from the sky, um, more than likely, you are going to be using Trumpeteer. So you use Trumpeteer to get into uh, Swordmaster. You can use Swordmaster's effect, bring Trumpeteer back to your hand, and Trumpeteer is now once per turn. You can keep special summoning over and over again. So you can go from your your five and special summon again, and using these two, you can go into your seven. So that's just way a lot of synchro crime. And that's it for the main deck and extra deck. I'm gonna show you guys a few cards in the in the side deck um, because you have to be very creative when it comes to side decking for um, this this deck. And we so there's some things I recommend. Um, Arch Venus centric. So what she does is she's a pendulum, right? She's a pendulum. So she's a spell here, right? But you can normal her, tribute her, target a monster on the field, and destroy it. That's the first thing you do as a monster. As a pendulum, if you activate a pendulum. You can target another spell or trap on the field, destroy them both. Um, so this is your back row removal. And remember, in the grave, she's not a spell. You know, she's a she's a monster. You know, so just FYI, you no, know, she she's not going to um, she's not going to uh, take up space for your and shut you down from falling traps. Then I play. Which I need a, I need to main deck this. I need to make room for this. But pink, pink obviously is going second card. You know, special summon it and then pop. The crow. Um, so a lot of decks nowadays need the graveyard. If there's something for sure you uh, need to get rid of the resources in the graveyard, you can do the crow. Uh, two effect failure. As you know, we have um, we have one in the main deck, and here's the other two on the side. And just in case I need to be shutting down decks, and then we play Eater Millions for those painful cards that um, are just troublesome to get over. Um, Eater Millions, you know can help out a lot you know certain cards that can't be destroyed go by card effects can't destroy battle well your minions will banish so it's our way to out certain things and then for last is rise to full height a trap what a trap yeah that's right it's a trap um as you can see the super heavy card uh, monster it's big big k in the back so you can see it's, it's related to this uh deck so what does it do um uh rise to full height says that you can target a mo face of monster on the field double its defense but its defense becomes zero at the end of the turn. So it's kind of like your gauntlet. So you can activate this, double the defense of a monster, but it's an all or nothing kind of thing because once once um, it's doubled at the end of the turn zero permanently, that, that zero is permanent. And then um, it has an effect where you can banish it, right? Target a monster you control, and then your, 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 your opponent has to attack if they're going to attack, has to attack that monster. So that's how we get away with playing a trap. Because it does have a way to banish it itself. Um, this is just, just in case. It's good to have just in case. Uh, but that's it, guys. You know, that, that's a super heavy deck. It's a cool casual deck. Um, a very unique.